with the world renowned South Florida Bigfooter Julio Hernandez. We've teamed up today. We've been chatting for a while and I uh, want to hook up with each other, so here we are. He's gonna take me to this area. Top secret. <laughs> we will never disclose. So we'll check in with you later. Bye. What's up, guys? <laughs> we're back at it again, the Big Cypress. This time we're gonna go and uh, revisit the same site where we found the prints and got the rock thrown at me. Uh, it's about 9.30 a.m. It's a little hot out. Last time I was here, the, the swamp was a little dry. Um, we had we had some rain over the weekend and the past weeks, so let's see how it turns out. And that's right underneath this trail right here. <laughs> that's Mama Alligator. Wow. And there's Baby Alligator right there. Oh. <laughs> It's like a vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. Nice mommy. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll leave you alone. Got it. <laughs> Julio and I are deciding on which one we want to cast. We want to find like the perfect one. In some areas there's just kind of a mishmash of everything. Like this one looks really good, but it's such a slender, unless the foot slid a little bit in the mud, mm -hmm. it's very slender. So we found some more right in this area. I want to show you how how there, you've got normal ones, and then there's a foot slip right up here. Boom. That's fairly normal. That's a bit of a stretch for me. And then right here, you can tell, you see the toes kind of scrape, like it slipped a little bit. And then we're back to normal. And they're all in a pretty much single file line too.
to tell the story? <laughs> go for it. Are you sure? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, this go is going out over the internet. Nah, I don't care. It, it is funny. I would tell it if it happened. It's true. It happened, you know. My family makes fun of me all the time. <laughs> okay, so Julio was telling me the story. Was this last time y'all were out here? The time before last. The time before last they were out here. And keep in mind, we're, there is nothing per, probably between 30 and 45 miles in either direction. North, south, east, west. I mean, we're in the heart of Everglades. Julio decides he has to go number two. Well, <laughs> were you in this area? Or were you... Oh, you were, oh, you were by the... Okay, this top secret area. He has to go do a number two. And he goes and finds his little area. And he's doing his business. And a helicopter... A gray helicopter comes out of nowhere. <laughs> and hovers above him. Like 50 feet. Like maybe the top of this tree, and he's got his pants down around his ankles doing a number two. And they're hovering and they're looking at yeah, him. I'm saying, I'm good, I'm good, I'm and okay, I'm okay, I'm my pants, I'm okay, I'm okay. And they're just looking at me, so <laughs> they take off, they leave, and I hear them coming back again, and they do the same thing again. They and they came back and over. Again, again. <laughs> and your pants are around your ankles. <laughs> that was horrible, man. That was horrible. Oh, that's hysterical, man. Yeah, that is way too funny. I mean, considering where we're at, for a helicopter come out of nowhere. I mean, it's one thing to see one, but considering you're doing a number two. I mean, they, they've got to have some hey, Well, you, you were giving them the thumbs up? Thumbs like, up. I was saying, I'm good, I'm good. You know, maybe if I was injured or something. You know? <laughs> I think I'm going to yeah, they got to have some kind of thermal camera because uh, I'm full camel in there, crouched. <laughs> How do they know I was there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And you said your dad still uh yeah, my pokes dad, my mom, you. <laughs> everybody. You know? It's the thing now. Oh, uh, Julio, yes. thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> yes. I will tell everybody I know now. No. <laughs> no, I if it happened to me, that's hysterical. I'd tell everybody. That's super, super funny. We've got a, uh, I went and purchased a trail cam last night. We're going to find a good spot to put that up. We might, well, if you look across here, I was walking with Huli over here. There's actually a little, uh, I don't know, I guess it's a little sinkhole or a little watering hole. There's some gators over here. I walked up on a gator and I was looking the other way and it jumped in the water and it scared the crap out of me. I must have jumped up two feet off the ground. But right over here on the other side of this little watering hole is where Julio had his rock throwing incident. And we were over there checking it out. So we might put the camera over there. Or we might put it back down this trail where we found uh, all the footprints. I don't know, but I think we're in ground zero squatch territory. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. So... We're hanging out, we just got a little fire going, eating some lunch. I brought some bananas too, I want to hang out by the, the camera. Whether that'll bring anything in, I don't know, but... I guess it's very simple-minded. Monkey likes banana, right? <laughs> so, it's basically what's going on. It's about 12 o'clock. I started my day about 6.30. And uh, that's pretty much it for right now. All right, check in with you later. All right, so we've got the video, the uh, trail cam up. I got some nanners in the tree. And we've got like various little game trails that are coming through here. And this is the direction that uh, Julio had the rock or the pebble thrown at him. Got the camera right there on this tree.
I tried this tree, but it was too thick for the bungee cord, so I put it back there on that one. I think we'll be all right. All right, we're gonna go back to our little camp. Chill out for a little bit. Of good tracks some about how, how big would you say they're a foot somewhere about a foot somewhere like uh five five inches five to inches and then we saw a the foot real, and we saw a real big one and then there was a real big one how, how big you think that one was probably 15 15 we left the measuring tape though unfortunately but in that one area there was just tracks sporadically everywhere it was kind of crazy we do have plaster cast, you know, we should have probably done that back there and let it dry and then get them on the way back. But I, don't, I really don't know how long we're going to be out here, but I really want to find a big track and cast that. Yeah. I don't want to waste it. But it's an eight pound bag and it's getting heavy in my backpack, I must <laughs> say. I'm ready to sit down and eat some peanut butter sandwiches here. I mean, if you look at the boots that Julio's wearing, and what I'm wearing, and we're actually trying to avoid the soft mud. We're work, walking where it's semi-soft and hard, trying to stay out of the mud pits. These footprints were right through the middle, the soft areas. Along with panther tracks and maybe raccoon tracks. And yeah, raccoon tracks. tracks, some panther tracks. So it's kind of odd that someone like us would walk barefoot when there's nothing for 30 miles in either direction. I'd say probably between 30 and 50 miles depending on which way you're facing. Yep. Now I did make that video of the hiker I ran into that had the uh, the, the booty footwear but we're not on any hiking trail. This is, what would you consider this? This is an off-road vehicle trail. An off-road vehicle trail. So a lot of hunters use this and just ATVs. So, and the swamp buggies. This is really where this is. It's a swamp buggy coming through. Yeah, here. you can see the swamp buggy tracks. I was doing my Rene Holland impersonation for Julio from Finding Bigfoot. fascinating. <laughs> 